welcome back, everybody. Let's say hello to our friend, Mr. John Baptiste. Hey, John. Hello. What's the word, Stephen? What's going on? <laughs> the word is all things are possible. Yeah. That's right. That's right. A lot of history has been made. Come on. Come on. I want to I wanna change the subject slightly to somebody. Did you ever get a chance to meet Alex Trebek? I did not. Of course, I, I've watched Jeopardy. I feel like since I was before I was born. <laughs> well, I just I just want to take a quick second to, to to tell you and the people out there a very quick story about Alex. Mm. Um, on the very last episode of the Colbert Report, um, my character gets on a sleigh and goes off with Santa and Abraham Lincoln yeah. into eternity at the end because we didn't know what to do with the guy, and that seemed mm -hmm. logical to me. And I I thought about this for about six months before we did it. I, this, I know that's how I wanted it to end. And I was talking to Jon Stewart, and I said, so this is what I want to do. I wanted to be Lincoln and Santa and me. And I said, and there has to be a fourth person. I'm not sure who I'd want to spend eternity with. And he goes, Alex Trebek. And I said, uh, that's exactly right, Alex Trebek. So I called up Alex, and I said, hey, would you do this? And he goes, why, well, Stephen, I would, be, I would be so pleased to. But may I ask, why, why me? And I said, well, you're a cultural figure up there with Lincoln and Santa. And I said, and it seemed like he'd be a nice guy to spend eternity with. And he goes, then I'd be so happy to. And I just want to say to everybody who's spending eternity with Alex Trebek right now, uh, congratulations. You have a kind man joining you right now. Mm. Mm. Amen. Amen. John Baptiste, everybody. Of course, as much as we're all celebrating this undoubtedly good news, there's still that nagging horror movie feeling that we've forgotten something and coronavirus is about to jump out of the closet with a chainsaw. This weekend, the United States passed 10 million coronavirus cases, and the U.S. has the most reported COVID-19 cases of anywhere in the world. But for the first time since this administration surrendered to the virus, there is hope that things will get better. On Monday, I will name a group of leading scientists and experts as transition advisors to help take the Biden-Harris COVID plan and convert it into an action blueprint that will start on January the 20th, 2021. That plan will be built on bedrock science. That is great. And if we accept all the bedrock science, we can also get our cars off of fossil fuels. And Biden made good on his wacky new trust science plan today when he unveiled his COVID-19 advisory board, a group of public health experts, almost all of whom are doctors. Look, I don't know if I can trust this group. Doesn't have one presidential son-in-law. And as far as I can tell, none of them invented a pillow. This board is a who's who of who's smart. You got Vivek Morthy, Surgeon General under Obama, Marcela Nunez Smith from Yale, and most delicious of all, Rick Bright, the Trump whistleblower whose dire early warnings about the pandemic went ignored and who was ultimately fired after speaking out. Oh, that's got a sting, Mr. President. Not only is Biden taking your job, he's also dating your ex. And you know they spend all their time laughing about how tiny your plan was. <laughs> but don't worry. And then also worry. Because this administration is still in office and they are hard at work pretending to be hard at work because today, for the first time in weeks, Mike Pence hosted a White House Coronavirus Task Force meeting. Awkward! <clears throat> okay, first item on the agenda. Is anyone here hiring? Meanwhile, actual people who know actual stuff are doing things. Pfizer, the people who make Viagra, just announced that in trials, its vaccine was more than 90% effective in preventing the disease. The fastest successful vaccine trial of all time. After hearing that, if your erection lasts longer than four hours, same. And Pfizer's COVID trial isn't the only good news. Today, the Dow surged more than 800 points in its biggest rally in five months on the Pfizer vaccine news and news that Joe Biden was declared victorious. Hey, Wall Street, how you like my Dow? <laughs> and of course, the president chimed in 
The stock market up big. Vaccine coming soon. Report 90% effective. Such great news. Well, if you think that's great news, sir, wait till you hear who's going to be president in January. <laughs> we'll be right back with Democratic star and the woman who flipped Georgia, Stacey Abrams.